and welcome to Spoiler Alert, where I tell you how something was that isn't yet. This week we're taking a look at Assassin's Creed Syndicate set in Victorian England, so the location will finally match the character's accents. This game is set during the Industrial Revolution, which was just like any revolution really. Some people got rich, some people got dead, and some people got fucked. That last group would be the poor people. And anyone with lungs. Yes, this was an era in which the sun never set on the British Empire. A time of innovation, expansion, and colonization. A period in which the rest of the world noticed that everything vaguely valuable was suddenly missing from their homeland. This game stars a pair of siblings, Evie and Jacob Fry, who are out to save London from the clutches of the evil Templars. Though, again, unfortunately for the rest of the world, no one was at that point working on freeing them from the clutches of London. Evie is perhaps the more traditional assassin. She's serious, focused, and extremely stealthy. Also, I hear if you hold different rocks near her, she evolves. Jacob, on the other hand, is, well, good at punching things. He also has machismo-rich visions of himself at the head of a powerful gang he preemptively names the Rooks. So basically, he's the Kamina of London. I hope most of you got that reference. If you're watching and you didn't, I mean, who the hell do you think I am? So to start with, the twins meet with the head of the local Assassin's Guild, an Indian man who anglicized his name to Henry Green, because trying to get a job in 18th century London with an Indian name was like trying to get a job in the US today with the name Tyrone. The Fry Twins then go on to meet other colorful characters during their time in London, such as Karl Marx before he was an inspiration to stoned college kids everywhere, and Charles Darwin before he burned in hell for his blasphemous words against the Almighty. You also run into Charles Dickens in a few cutscenes that could have been much shorter except he kept using twice as many words as he needed to express what he was thinking. Then there's Florence Nightingale, the mother of modern nursing and inadvertent great-great-grandmother of the slutty nurse Halloween costume, who helps patch your character up when you get injured, and Alexander Graham Bell, who provides you with nifty new toys such as, say... Grappling hook! The game plays up the technology of the Industrial Revolution. I mean, they didn't have imps like whatever the hell Jacob is throwing here, or cloaking devices like whatever the hell Evie is cheating with here, but it was a time of noted technological advances. One of the biggest advances was the locomotive, which was important, yes, but not quite as important as the invention of the fight scene on top of a moving locomotive, which you of course get into as an assassin. The problem is, even with all your crazy assassin skills, you take a while to put the bad guys down as the train leaves London. And then when you're done with them, you look up, realize which train you were on, and then shit gets weird. So that's it for this week's spoiler alert. Please join us next time as we take a look at another popular video game, Halo 5. And as always, leave me comments down below telling me what else you want reviewed in advance next. Until then, don't say. I didn't warn you.